and you're watching Dog Eared Musings. And today I'm doing a book review of Mary Helen Bertino's novel Beautyland. Now, I bet you, if you're on booktube as much as I am, you've probably seen this book floating around and you've heard people talking about it. And I've heard so many awesome people whose views on books I love and respect say really awesome and amazing things about this book. And when I've talked about how I wanted to read it, they would respond on my comments and say that this definitely had Monica vibes and that I should pick it up. I needed to give this book a chance and I figured I also needed to give this book a second chance because I read it and I put it down and took a break from it and is this book an example of a second chance romance? We'll see later in this review. Cliffhanger for you because I've been watching so much Love is Blind. I'm done. But I thought I would give my video its own like reality show, like will they make it to the aisle? Beautyland and Monica, we will see. Is love blind? I, I don't know, sorry. Who is Bertino? First of all, let's talk a little bit about who this author is. So um, Bertino has written a bunch of short stories. She's been an editor for a couple of publications. She also has written some of her own novels. And Beautyland is actually an expansion of one of her short stories, the title of which I took notes. Sometimes you break their hearts and sometimes they break yours. In an interview that she did with the Brooklyn Review, which was actually a publication that she used to be an editor for. She talks to the journalist and tells them that this short story was a character and a story that she just couldn't let go of. And she actually found herself expanding upon the folder that her character created and extending that story so much so that she had a novel that ended up being Beautyland. So what is Beautyland about? Beautyland falls between this kind of gray nebulous area of genre fiction and lit fic. It's a speculative fiction that is kind of sci-fi that focuses on our main character whose name is Adina. Now Adina believes that she comes from a different planet and every night she sends fax messages to the people who are from or the aliens from a different planet and they respond to her about her findings. Um, she'll send different messages on um, kind of the notes about what she figures out about society and in these reports she hears back from them. It kind of goes throughout her life and it is kind of a experimental view on otherness and grief and also just what it means to be a person, a human walking in the world, a friend, daughter, a, a co-worker. Adina kind of analyzes the human condition and all of its nitty gritty pieces. So what were the cons of this book or what took me out of this book? Um, now I said that I did I had to give this book a second try. Now, this book is a little meandery. There were kind of spots in it that I felt like I had to refocus and kind of bring myself back into the book and reinterpret, which I'll talk a little bit about in my pro section as well. What were the pros then? Bertino kind of talks about the idea of interpretation and how she wanted to create the framework in which readers could kind of bring their own personal interpretations into the material. So Bertino really explores the main framework of grief, like I talked about, otherness, and through the analyzation of how Adina kind of goes through her own experiences with these very universal themes, Bertino allows space where a reader can really kind of analyze their own experiences with how Adina kind of walks through life. And I think that while that kind of emptiness could be a little bit frustrating for a reader, if you come at it knowing that that space exists and that you are allowed to kind of have that 
exploration and that playfulness with the interpretation of reading, I think it gives yourself a little bit more grace with the reading rather than thinking about like, oh, I need to have this exact interpretation of the reading, knowing that you can come at it from your own lens. I think that actually made the experience a lot more fun and enjoyable and playful. And I mean, I think this book also like covers themes that I just really love. This book really talks about loneliness, which is a theme that I'm always interested in thinking more about. And I think that Bertino does it in a way that is really, is really kind of beautiful. So what are Rita likes? I think another reason why people said that this book gave them Monica vibes was because this book had, this book felt like if My Brilliant Friend and if everybody in this room will someday be dead had a baby. This, it would be Beautyland. Definitely felt like two of my favorite books combined into one book in kind of the best possible way in a new genre. If you like those two books, I'd say maybe try Beautyland out. You've got a woman who is an outsider, who creates her own community, who creates her own friendships, and kind of analyzes the intricacies and idiosyncrasies of humanity, which is very reminiscent of everyone in this room will someday be dead, while also kind of thinking about the over-expansive analysis of a community and certain characters and kind of like how those characters kind of play with each other throughout time, which feels very reminiscent of Ferrante. Now, there isn't as much pulp or drama as Ferrante's writing, but I think how Ferrante thinks about the uncomfortableness and grittiness of feelings and the uncomfortableness of certain feelings, especially ones that have negative connotations for people who are living in, in today's society. I think that this is also something that Bertino explores in her writing, which I love when people talk about feelings that we're not supposed to feel. What was my takeaway? I think that um, sometimes thinking about giving a book a second chance and coming back at it with a new fresh view, um, that was what I had to do with this book. And I think allowing myself to come at it from a more playful lens ended up giving myself a more enjoyable and fun experience. Now, that was my experience reading Beautyland and you've been watching Dog Your Musings. Happy reading.